What's going on guys and welcome back to my devlog sessions. Now in this video, I'm going to be taking the 3D model that I did in my Blender sessions before and I'll be setting it off into the wild, wild metaverse. Yeah? <laughs> now, my way of releasing my content into the metaverse is going to be through the VR games that me and my brother are making. And in the meantime, I'm going to be launching my creations through Sketchfab. So as you can see here, I just created my account and published my first uh, object file onto the site. So yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, here's the link. All right guys, up next, I'll show you how to take that 3D model and turn it into a virtual reality character. Now, I have Unity open up with its virtual reality template. Um, so right now, it's, I'm just simply going to drag and drop the enemy file I exported off of Blender. And as you see on the screen, it appears there perfectly just fine. Only thing is that it is all grayed out. It's not like as purple as it was before. Um, but um, that's no biggie. It's actually a simple fix. Um, you just have to tweak a few settings. Um, so you go over here to the top right. I'm noticing there is a few new VR options available. That's new. But for that, you want to go over here to the selection button in the inspector. And there's this extract textures. So this is where you need to go to extract the textures and get the colors that you baked in Blender. Now that that's good, I'm gonna want to check and make sure that the animation that I also made in Blender is also um, available here. So as you can see here on the bottom right corner, there's another window that shows the animation and we are good. All right, now that the character model is working in Unity, up next is to add functionality to it. Now for that, I'm gonna ship it out to my bro as he is coding up the mechanics behind this game. And as you can see on screen, we're showing a snippet of some of the functionality that's being implemented in the game. And right now it's pretty basic. We're just gonna have the enemy like shoot at you and you're gonna be able to shoot at the enemy and it's just gonna toggle off the health bar. And yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much the concept in a nutshell so far. All right, my brother just finished up adding this enemy to his enemy class functions. So let's plug it up into the VR headset and take it for a spin. All right, so this is our general platform right now, our game. And as you can see, the 3D object is as the enemy right now in the game. So it's already like enabled to follow me and, well, hurt me. <laughs> so like right now I'm shooting it. And... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Ooh, take that cylinder. Okay, so that was a cool little demo of the uh, enemy functionality. Anyways, if you like this type of stuff, do give a subscribe, hit a like button, and let me know what other cool ideas would be good to implement in virtual reality or the metaverse. Uh, I do have a ton of ideas in my head already. It's just gonna take some time, you know, to be able to implement them all. But yeah, in the meantime, feel free to comment along. Until then, this is Dave, logging off. Oh, and one last thing before I go, check this out. Ah, oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. Is that the enemy character in real life? What? Oops. What? 
There it is. In real life, guys. What? What? Solid. Solid. <laughs> now, just to give you a little sneak peek on what's that about. Yeah. Over there is a 3D printer. So, yeah, who knows what I'll come up with that. <laughs>